Hi, Ed Launder of Off the Hook Taxidermy. Uh, we're going to be shooting a video today on uh, epoxy work on a smallmouth bass before you actually paint it. Uh, my personal opinion, uh, the epoxy work on any uh, skin mounted fish is the most important. Um, a lot of people use artificial heads, um, uh, but on my commercial work, um, I do use uh, artificial heads on my trout, but on my uh, warm water fish, I'll rebuild the top of the heads uh, and the shrunken areas. Um, some people do not rebuild, um, but my personal opinion, you've got to rebuild it to make it look nice. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to talk a little bit about this fish before we apply the epoxy sculpt. Um, first, let's, let's look at the fish in general, what, what we're looking at. Um, as you can see, the top of the head here, it's shrunken in. And what we're going to do is we're going to rebuild the top of the head. We're going to rebuild in here the throat latch, throat latch in here. And up in here, we're going to rebuild it. We're going to rebuild the pectoral fin, which has got some shrinkage. And down here at the base of the tail, there's, there's quite a bit of shrinkage. And we're going to rebuild it. Um, you know, if you look at a fish, a fish is, you know, if you really study them, they're not that complicated to understand what they're actually doing. A fish, all his fins are in the center of his body, okay? These fins do not sit on the side. Uh, I know where a lot of people use a bigger form. When you use a bigger form on a, on a, on a bass, your, your anal fin may be off. Everybody wants um, uh, a bigger gut, um, which is okay, but if I'm if I'm sculpturing a form or if I'm ordering a form, I want the back of my fish to come together like this here. You know, when you start stretching forms, sometimes what happens is you try to get it too big and these scales start to buckle and it, it just does not look right. I know how it is. Somebody brings you a four pound bass in, the guy wants to, uh, a six pound bass. I get it and I understand it, but I try to get it back the way it was when it was in the water. So let's talk a little bit about the epoxy work here. When I apply epoxy or smooth out right in here, I'm going to smooth it out. Once it starts to kick, I'll come in there and sculpture some scales. And once I get ready to paint this fish, uh, I will blend in some colors where the epoxy is to match this skin tone and paint it. Paint it real nice, put some gloss on it, and hopefully you won't find the uh, epoxy work. Inside the mouth is very important too. Um, you know, there's a lot of shrinkage in here, especially in the tongue. Um, I rebuild all that. Um, talking about artificial heads, I've got a artificial trout head here, and as you can see, um, you know, it, it's real good. Um, I will show y'all how to make an artificial head, a bass head, and a trout head in an in a upcoming video. So, another thing, study your reference, study your picture. Uh, I brought one of my reference books out here that I've used. Um, I've got I've got a smallmouth here. As you can see, the top of his head's not shrunken in. As you can see, this is shrunken in. So we're going to rebuild all that. Uh, get you some good reference pictures. Um, as you can see, this this smallmouth here. He just caught him. His head does not drop. So we're going to rebuild all that. So it's good that uh, you know that you rebuild it. Um, so, we mix up the epoxy, uh, or magic smooth, we, and what we're going to do, it's already mixed up 50-50, and we're just going to dot it. We're just going to dot it right there. You see where the shrunken area is. And we're just going to put some smooth out right there. And there's a lot of shrinkage right there. We're going to put some right here on the pectoral fin. It's right here. And as you see, I'm just, I'm just dotting it. Now I'm going to go to the top of the head. And as you can see, the top of the head is shrunken in. And it's it don't look good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply some right up here on the top. That's all I'm doing. Just going to apply it on the top. Okay. I'm just going to apply it. Let me stand up and see what we got here. Just kind of smoothing it out. I may have to mix up a little bit more because I don't think I got quite enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some more up. Just take my popsicle stick and put it in there. 
and then I take my hardener there, 50-50, and I'll just mix it up. Very important that you mix this stuff up and measure it out equally, because if you don't and it don't harden, then you're just you're in a mess. So uh, it's good stuff. I buy it from McKenzie Taxidermy. Um, it's expensive, but it's great stuff. Um, there is another uh, material that I use. It's called epoxy sculpt. It's a little bit thicker than this. It's not as smooth, and I use that. I use that also. But I like this uh, uh, this magic smooth. It's it, it's real good stuff. So let's let's get back on top of the head. Top of the head. As you can see, there's a lot of shrinkage up in here, and all I'm doing is rebuilding. Now, you're going to ask me, oh, you got a glob of gunk. So, yeah, I do. But I'm going to smooth it out with my finger, okay? And I'll show you how I do that. Um, so all I'm doing is just rebuilding. That's all I'm doing. All right. So let's look to see what we got here. Um, I've rebuilt the top of the head. So I take, I dip my finger in with, I use latex gloves, and I'll just smooth it out. And as you can see, I'm just smoothing it out with, with my finger, okay? That's all I'm doing. You see how I'm rebuilding all that shrunken in area, okay? Just smooth it out. Smooth, smooth it out. Actually, I'm going to take this glove off. I do a little bit better job without a glove, okay? You can use a glove. See, what I'm doing is I'm just rebuilding. Rebuilding. I'm going to stand up where I can see what I'm doing here. And as you can see, I'm just rebuilding the top of that head. As you can see this fish right here, okay, I'm just rebuilding. See, right here, it's a little bit high. That's not right. So I'm just going to smooth it out. Smooth it out. Now, what happens, you know, you, you look at this, and it looks like, oh my gosh. Man, this is like white stuff. Well, it's going to dry clear, and when you paint it, and you put some spotting up there and put your gloss, you'll never see this. Now, one thing on a smallmouth, or any fish, and I know this, You'd be surprised. A lot of people don't even look for this. How does a fish breathe? He's got two nostrils right in here, and I'll go in there with a pen and, or a drill and make me two nostrils, okay? Uh, let's go back towards the tail here. The tail, I'm real not satisfied with. As you can see, it just kind of drops off. Um, fish, I just, I just don't like it. It's shrunken up real bad right there. And all I'm doing is smoothing it out. This is all I'm doing is smoothing it out. And as you can see, I'm smoothing it out. You see this? That's all I'm doing, smoothing it out. Your fin here, your pectoral fin, you know, all I'm doing is smoothing it out. You're going to be putting some black spots up in here when I get ready to paint it. It'll be a while before I actually paint it because I gotta let this stuff dry and I gotta do the fins. And there's just a lot of things that go into a fish where a lot of people don't see. Um, epoxy work, fin work, um, just a lot of uh, a lot of little things that you gotta do. And if you wanna do it right, you know, you need to rebuild these areas. It just it looks a whole heck of a lot better. It's getting there. It's getting there, as you can see. I'm just keeping on smoothing it out. And I don't really like that right there, but I'm gonna put some more in there. Uh, let's, let's, let's talk a little bit about right up in here. Right in here is shrinkage. There's a bunch. I can see a bunch right in there. So I'm just gonna put some epoxy skull up in there, up in here, and just smooth it out. All I'm going to do is smooth it out. Smooth her out. You see, I'm just kind of putting a glob right there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to smooth it out. You see what I'm doing. Now, 
let me turn this thing around. All I'm going to do is smooth it out. See that? That's all I'm doing. Smooth it out. Do the same thing on this side. Now I've got some pins back in here which I can pull out. Um, I'm going to do some more epoxy work back here on the back side. I'll do some more epoxy work back here on the back side, as you can see. Right here. Same thing that I was doing on the front side. Uh, I'm just going to rebuild it, okay? Uh, you got his throat right here. I'll, I'll put some right up in here. Also up in here. All I'm doing is rebuilding, okay? Right here. Rebuild the top of his... As you can see, you can see his mouth here. Um... It shrinks. I mean, this is really puffed out when you catch one. And there again, the average Joe Blow, he don't look at stuff like that. You know, it's, ah, it's it looks good. Really, if, if you don't rebuild these areas, it just it doesn't look right. It does not look right. Um, I talked about this uh in my last video, taxidermy has come so far in the last 30 years just on how we do things. Uh, uh, with artificial heads, the epoxies that we use, um, you know, the paint that we use, there's a lot of knowledge out there. Um, and it's just come so far. And I've, you know, I've been in it for, I think this is my 30th year or close to it, but I started when I got right out of high school um, I hope my son decides to pursue it you can it's just I like it um, I, I fish and I, I love to study fish and I, I just I just like them and uh, you know we've come so far in 30 years what's taxidermy gonna be like in 30 more years well I, I can't answer that but I know one thing uh, it's come a long ways in the last 30 years um, and, my, and all I'm doing is epoxy work, and I know it's boring me talking, but I'm just, just showing you a few things that helped me over the years with the epoxy. And I know it looks kind of rough right now, but when it's completely dry, it's going to be like semi-transparent. It's going to be like semi-transparent. -trans and as you can see, I rebuilt that. looks pretty good. Now, to be honest with you, I don't really like the back of the tail but I'm going to work on it, and I'm going to put a little bit more in there, okay? Um, see that right there? It just don't look right to me. All I'm going to do is just put a little bit more in there, and it looks pretty good. Now, what happens here is when I get ready to paint this fish, it's like I said earlier in the video, you've got to blend in color where this epoxy is. You can't just start applying colors. You're going to have to match this skin tone. And a smallmouth is probably one of my favorite fish to paint. Um, they got different, four or five different color schemes. I think they're the prettiest fish in, uh, in warm water. Um, they got a lot of bars. Uh, they can be black, green, gold, bronze. And when you start putting bars in here, especially up in here, uh, and then paint your tail and, 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 and put your bars and put your gold tip scales and stuff. I mean, it looks good. You won't see the epoxy. Um, and I'm going to mix up some more epoxy and I'm going to rebuild the tongue. Um, another thing, uh, with fish, we're doing epoxy work. The next thing on the video that we do we're going to do fins but i'm going to talk briefly about it these fins look pretty good um i've got to get a little bit of this white cardboard off these fins and what i do is i seal the i'll, I'll seal the fish then i'll take elmer's glue clear you don't want to use the the glue that don't uh dry clear and i put about three coats on these fins and it makes them look wet looking and if i have any repairs 
I'll take some masking tape or, uh, and then I'll put glue on the back and I'll put the tape on the back and then I'll uh, put a layer of glue on the back and let it dry then I'll trim the fins. But these fins here look pretty good. I will say this, on commercial work, um, if you've got a fin that's got the whole side of it's gone, yeah, you might want to fix it. But with this particular fish, as you can see, the fins are not in real bad shape. Uh, I know a lot of us fish taxidermists and me and my son, that's, we fish a lot. I've caught fish where the fins were not perfect. Uh, there were ragged edges. There were gaps. Uh, looked like uh, they, um, they were in bad shape. But um, just fix your fins if they're in real bad shape. Um, the customer will like it. Uh, so let's mix up a little bit more epoxy sculpt for the tongue, and we'll do that. And we'll talk briefly um, about the back, and then we'll be done. Um, so let me get some more uh, smooth out here. Um, this stuff's real good, though. I like it. Here is a little secret that you can use uh, on the tongue of a bass or a small mouth, a large mouth. You probably use it on bluegill, too. You can use latex caulk. And you can squirt some latex caulk in there and you can smooth it out and you can sculpt your tongue that way. I've done it before. It's 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 good, but the only problem with the with the caulk, it takes a little bit long to dry, two or three days. This stuff dries in about eight hours. So it just depends on what you want. Um, you know, I don't think there's a wrong way in taxidermy. I think if something works for somebody and and you you're comfortable with it, keep doing it. Um, but I will say this. Um, you can uh, try different things try different things because you never know it might work for you alright what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth it out and as you can see I'm taking my tongue or my hand and I'm just sculpturing a tongue now why am I doing this well I'm doing it because there's a lot of shrinkage in there. You know, well, Ed, there's a lot of people that don't look inside the mouth of a fish. Well, I don't want my customers to look at a fish and say, off the hook taxidermy didn't even put a tongue in my fish. So I rebuild it. Um, and that's just, that's the way I do it. Um, these teeth, these teeth, on uh, small mouth and large mouth. They're fleshy. They're not pure white. And I'll go back in there with a paintbrush when I get ready to paint it and paint these white. If you're doing a reproduction, and I'm going to do a series on the reproduction too, um, you've got to rebuild everything inside the mouth. One, uh, one little... Uh, trick that I can tell you to make teeth for a for a bass take you some uh, primer prime the inside of your mouth with gray primer take you some sand well obviously before you put the sand in there you got to put a layer of glue and then put your sand on the upper portion of the of the fish and the lower portion of the fish and you've made some uh, teeth I mean it's it looks good um, just a little secret that I, that I've, I, who, who actually showed me that? I think a guy in Florida showed me that. It works great. So, in closing, in closing, study your fish, have fun what you're doing, and do it the best of your ability. Uh, try some different things. Um, you never know. It might work for you. My ears are always open. So, in cl and like I say, have fun with what you're doing. And if you're having fun and, and you're making money, you'll never work a day in your life.
So, so, so until next time, uh, Ed Lawner of Off the Hook Taxidermy would like to thank everyone that's looking at this video. I hope I'm able to help you, um, but I'm going to be doing quite a few videos. So, you know, look at them and uh, uh, hopefully I'll help you out. So, until next time, have a great day.